It, it was really interesting from the smuggler standpoint. You know, I'm expecting this war to go full blown back into action within the next couple of expansions, maybe. Because it just seems like you're right on the edge of conflict breaking out again. Now again, there is conflict. There you see, like, I, yeah, I, I mean, it's like it's like, it's like the, the Sith coming the back started World War One, and it's like we're right on the verge of World War Two starting. It's like Germany is invading. I like that might be for one of them, but like I feel like one of like depending on how many they ever put out, like one of them would be like something else invades and you got them. Oh, everybody like bands together. together and fights them? Like, kind of like WoW with yeah, the Lich King? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, they can do that with the Star Wars. No, the Empire of yeah, they can. Have, have Star Trek Star invade Trek. and we'll kick their ass. <laughs> they did it uh, in the books with the... Um, like joined the server. Book joined the server. They called the back, but during the back to war. I want a game that actually takes place... Book during switch channel to counter strike colon source on the server. Team speak. The text place... switch channel to counter strike colon source <sighs> on the server. During the Mandalorian Wars, I want to play during that, like a first person shooter, or like it's maybe a SOCOM style game. Just make sure it isn't PS3 exclusive. It's the only thing I hate about SOCOM. That and Metal Gear so Solid suck. Solely for the reason that they only come out on the PS3. The new Metal Gear Solid game, Revengeance, looks awesome. You guys should, if you're in, still in queue, just like go to YouTube and look up the trailer for Metal Gear Solid Revengeance. You play as how do you pronounce that guy's name? Raiden? Raiden? I want to call him Raiden like Mortal Kombat. Number 22! I need... Okay, down to 18. I need 18 parents to kick their kids off their computers. Tell them to go to bed. Wait, all the kids are on Christmas break right now, aren't they? Uh, mine doesn't start till Wednesday, Thursday technically. Uh, my little brother. Uh, all I the did, college kids I didn't are on know Christmas it. break though. I didn't know it till my mom and my little brother came out to visit that he'd been on on Christmas break for a week. Oh, nice. If I didn't do that, I'd have had him come out and we'd sit and we'd play bowling on the Wii or something. It's like my sister is mean to him, so I try and make up for it by doing all kinds of stuff. I bought him Pokemon, the new Pokemon. I bought him a version and me a version. And I just mess around with it every now and then, and he'll come out and gives us something to do. Of course, Pokemon is a good RPG. I don't care what anyone says. It is. You say that to a lot of people and they'll just... When they released uh, Pokemon Black and Pokemon White, there was a line on GameStop. came to get my commendation. So, uh, my, what was it? Fleet commendations. I got 22. Is 22 That's a lot? lot. No, I'm what looking at the thing. What do you spend uh, fleet commendations on anyways? It's stupid I'm about stuff. To find out. Uh, you spend it near uh, the, same, the same vendor where you buy Upgrades for your ship. It's right there beside him, and you can buy like a pilot suit. And you can buy. There's like only two or three ship upgrades, but they're high-end ship upgrades, like higher. So level. nothing, nothing really. 
Yeah, uh, they used to use fight. Not at Republic Fleet, anyway. It's just kind of like, ooh, it's kind of cool. Look at me. I love killing an entire mob by shooting an explosive container. Yeah, and it doesn't do anything to you. You can just <laughs> run up and you can, like, palm it and blow it up. And you stand there like Terminator going, ha ha ha. You see anything you like? Curator. You can buy a banned Imperial history document. <laughs> Ooh. Is a companion gift. Drayan hyperspace smuggling routes. Energy Blade Bayonet. A first edition Galactic Encyclopedia. Mm -hmm. How do they know it's first edition? It's been like centuries I say. since They're the Galactic Star. Like, the, like yeah. 25,000 years? And yeah. That's the first one. And you, touch that thing it and it'll, you touch that thing and it'll go poof! Into magic dust. That's how old it is. High resolution combat recorder. Isn't there an item that, that you get in this game that records the uh, gameplay for you? Yeah, I think that's uh, one of the collector's edition things. That's what I was thinking. This combat recorder I'm looking at, it's 12 commendation, or no, takes 12 premium gift fragments to get it. But, uh, it's a companion gift. Born, are you in tank speak? He is, but he has his, uh, speaker muted. No, his mic. Another speaker. He can't hear. A carved rune stone. I think that droid wants to murder me in my sleep. We've still got a galaxy to save. Yeah, I love C2. Let's get back to it. I love all the things he says. I still want the battle droid, the one that calls everyone meat sack. Oh, uh, yeah, I know some things about that. I would never betray you, master. I will destroy all of the other meat sacks for you. Yeah, I won't, I won't spoil that for you. Oh, I know it's in the game. I've seen screenshots of it. I didn't read a lot about the game other than about the class specifics because I didn't want to ruin any of the surprises. Evidence joined the server. Where do you go to like piece together these fragmented things? Uh, I think somewhere on the evidence fleet. switch channel to ECG's bold face three server on the server. I think right. my guy just got laid. <laughs> Is that possible? Because this is T-rated, I think. Uh, the girl, she's like, yeah, come back to my quarters, I'll open a bottle of brandy, and then you go, and then the, the screen completely blacks out, and then you both walk back together, and then she starts flirting with me. Yeah, you do that as a trooper, too. I thought you was I thought it might have been, like, uh, you know, fables, where you hear, like, moans <laughs> and grump, grunts and things. Operation Noble Gambit is my only, uh, space quest. I can still do the other ones though. You just won't get a quest reward for them. Yeah, I know. You can repeat them. But I think I'm going to right now. I gained an entire I mean, level earlier by doing them. That's what I was saying. I mean, if you're good enough, you can shoot down most of everything and uh, destroy a lot of the turrets and stuff. You can get a good amount of uh, XP. I don't know if I'm good at it or not. I just know I haven't died yet. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Keyword being yet. I think my favorite one though is where you're attacking that big 
fortress. The capital ship. Oh. You know the fortress that you have to blow up the antennas and the shield generators, and turrets. Yeah. I like the one that's like the uh, you and the Republic fleet are like attacking the uh, damaged uh, star destroyer or whatever. Oh yeah, the the um the space station the Empire built to launch covert uh, attacks. Oh no wonder why I was getting my ant kicked. This is a heroic area. <laughs> <laughs> Which one are you doing? Which one are you trying to do? Ballistar Outpost is the one. The, the face Ballistar. merchants on Coruscant. Oh never mind. What ship upgrades do you guys have? I have like the 2000 toughness and the 40 rockets. Great one ship armor. Great one energy shield. Great well, all my stuff generator. Good. I've got almost all of the stuff that you can get when Great you get two TARS. Great one beam generator. Great one missile magazine. Do these get stuff. progressively harder or what? Yeah. It seems like there's a lot more TIE fighters at the time. <laughs> they were a lot harder in beta. I think they tuned them down a lot. I love them in beta. I still want Rogue Squadron combat though. I will pre-order that expansion pack two years in advance for 200 bucks if they make that. That's how much I want that. I, the I, love I would go a couple games. months without buying a new game just Capers, to play that. Was was it the Rogue Squadron game? No, no, man, that's a different game I'm thinking of where you're flying. But uh, Rogue Squadron. There's one of them. Yeah, but there there was one of them where there's like half of them are like missions where you're flying and then some of them are on the ground. Uh, I know what you're talking about. It was an Xbox but there was game. Like, no, this one was for the PC a long Maybe it's for the Xbox, but this was a long time ago. I remember playing this like... Like, 97. And there was just this one mission where you had to fly the Millennium Falcon through this... Like, maze of, uh... Like, pipes and stuff. And it was probably like, one of the hardest experience. things. It was like one of the hardest things I'd ever done. I know what you're talking about, because I've played every Star Wars game that I possibly could, but I can't think of the name. I think these TIE Fighters go down awful easy. It's like they yeah. don't have shield generators whatsoever. I found like sometimes I'll just fly them and smash you too without even shooting. It's like you're ripping them a new one. I mean, you're just obliterating them and they're just passing you up, going right by you. <laughs> I'm just shooting at my own guy. I mean, you would think the person that is obliterating your army would be prime target number one. No. You're too scared of my awesomeness. You can't handle me. I'm already down to like 14 rockets. <laughs> There's three, <laughs> three and a half minutes left. I keep thinking I have 80 now because I bought that level 31 upgrade, but I'm only level 22. Alright, I'm impressed. I want, once I get to level 24, I bought an upgrade that um, you fire six laser bolts yeah, per second. That, that's gonna be handy. I just love that you can barrel roll. I 
<laughs> I've only took like four percent damage when I did these the first time. I uh, I didn't take any damage. My shields were too weak. We should all um, meet up at the fleet, all of us fast 20, and do some uh, flashpoints. Hurry up, soldier! That'd be fun. I'm working, we I'm want, working on it. We want it's you forward. at our level so you can participate. It's forward to uh, the okay, yeah. What? It's four groups. Not five. Really? Nice yeah. I already saw it and wow that five Mad wasn't enough. Madnot switch channel to ECG's bold face three server. It's the like server. there's always one person too many. It's like the squads in Battlefield 3. You need to be able to like highlight your friends, period. Like you could in Crisis Wars. You like press space while holding tab and you could highlight your friend's name so you could find them over anybody. I don't like that, and I don't like that there's no end game voiceover IP in Battlefield 3. The rest of it's just plain epic. Hey, you think that'd be something you'd kind of need? But they had it in Bad Company too. It didn't work, hardly. But they had but it. But they had it, yeah. I mean, that's one of the reasons Counter Strike Source and Counter Strike 1.6 have been around so long. They have, it's it's a good socializing game. You can just sit and chill and talk. That and the custom maps. And Battlefield 2 had custom maps. I don't know why they would subtract features instead of add them. You know? Because they can't make money off it. But then again, they're not making them themselves. They're not making any money to begin with, so it's silly. Yeah, well, it gives their game more, more life. From your channel. The longer more lifespan. The Republic from the server. So, in reality, if they increase the lifespan, you'd have people picking up the game as they went along, or people buying it, playing it at like six months, quitting. I guess that's kind of whole Coming thing back with later like, uh, and not being able to find their account, so they buy it again. Call of Duty is that they put out new maps, but they make you pay for them. Yeah, didn't the, uh, the older Call of Duties, couldn't you make your own maps? Um, I'm not sure.